alaikum dear students i am riyaz ahmed welcome once again to the my youtube channel is for which uh, uh, hopefully uh, you all would be in the best of your health uh, in previous lecture what i discussed with you people is for which uh, uh, this was uh, the short essay of george orwell uh, shooting in halifax and this was uh, in a few words what i summarized uh, this was uh, this very essay now in this video lecture i will discuss this what the theme the central idea of this very uh, essay is for uh, in my opinion is for what uh, the central idea the theme of the poem of this uh, very essay is is for what the evil of imperialism evil of imperialism in jo imperialism jo tha the british uh, government us waqt जिसने ऑक्यूपाइड किया था इंडिया को और बर्मा का जो एक हिस्सा था एक इंडिया का उस हवाले से जो उसके नुकसान थे और जिस किस्म की उसके इफेक्ट थे उसके हवाले से मैं बात करूँगा ठीक है दिस वट इज़ फॉरवर्ड द स्टोरी इज द एन इंसिडेंट ऑफ शूटिंग एन हेलीफैच बट वट वी डू फाइंड इन दिस कॉज इज फॉरवर्ड द Uh, this what the implications of imperialism what we what we do find is for what the disadvantages what the effects of imperialism this what uh, uh, imperialism this what is for what uh, had done with the native with the local people so now is for what in previous lecture what uh, i discussed with you you people this what introduction to the writer and then what is for the summary of the of the essay so is for now i come to uh, the theme is what is for the evil of imperialism what the imperialism is is for what the imperialism is uh, basically imperialism is the policy of controlling weak or this what uh, this for underdeveloped countries weak or underdeveloped countries for the purpose of what uh, exploitation is for to exploit Uh, is for all those countries what uh, they are under the control of the of the uh, of the empire is for to exploit all those countries uh, uh, politically economically geographically and militarily is for what the purpose is it is basically what uh, what we do find in imperialism is for what uh, the arrogance the superiority is for what they do consider themselves is for uh, Uh, the colonizers what they do consider themselves superior powerful and what they do consider the colonized what uh, all those people under their control or those native or local people what they are uh, what uneducated what they are uh, uh, ignorant and uh, as far what uh, they are weak people and oppressed people as far so now uh, as far uh, what the history is what the context is uh, british what uh, ruled in uh, subcontinent as far in uh, uh, in late uh, this what is far in 19th century and then in 20th century and this is what basically what the story is the story is of of burma as far what burma became a province of india in 1886 so uh, as far uh, british empire was this what is there but ruling the the subcontinent and this was the incident the story was of burma so is uh, the writer himself uh, served in indian uh, as for imperial police in burma for about 5 years from 1922 to 1927 so this what what we do find the first and experience uh, of the narrator is for what who is the narrator Uh, is for uh, the writer himself george orwell and so what we do find what uh, uh, what uh, he gave us the intense and insightful implications of imperialism what uh, is what he was there and what he saw what he observed what he, uh, he experienced and then what uh, after returning uh, to england uh, and uh, after some years then when he wrote this very essay uh, so what we do find this what the intense the insightful nature of imperialism the implications the effects uh, on this which uh, of the imperialism so now as far uh, uh, what i do come uh, as far the policies of imperialism uh, was uh, is for the oppressor and oppressed uh, so who was oppressor 
the colonizers, the British Empire through the ruling class and uh, who was oppressed all those locals, natives, but they were under the rule of British Empire. So this what is for what the relationship between oppressor and oppressed is for the uh, what the uh, viewpoint of the oppressor, the British Empire, the colonizers, how they look, uh, how they looked down upon the uh, oppressed. Uh, so who were the oppressed uh, is for the, the natives, the locals, the colonized, and uh, all those what the this what is for the uh, all those people of Burma. So now it's for according to writer uh, what uh, he says imperialism is an evil and uh, what he is against it he is against it so what we do find in this what the text that uh, what he do says that uh, uh, is for what uh, I was all for the Burmese and all against their oppressors so basically what uh, what uh, is these uh, word that uh, he says uh, that uh, I mean, this what I support the Burmese people, and what I uh, I'm against the oppressor. This what the British Empire. So, uh, what uh, is for what the, uh, is for the stance of the writer is uh, what we do find is what the dirty work of empire. This what the dirty work of empire, the oppressors, the ruling class. This what the, the, the government is for the, what we do find the miserable prisoners. What the miser uh, is for what uh, the relationship between oppressors and oppressed, and now what uh, first of all what uh, is for uh, now uh, what the, uh, this what the oppressor uh, is for the um, the British Empire what the imperialism was doing with natives with the oppressed people, so is for what the text is what we do find that the dirty work of imperialism and uh, is for uh, uh, the wretched prisoners what we do find the great coward faces of the of the long-term convicts and what we do find is for uh, all those uh, people what uh, they were uh, treated badly what they were in miserable conditions all those prisoners all those convicts what they were in very worse condition and what they were is for their uh, life was a miserable one and what they were treated so badly and all this what uh, uh, at the ends of British uh, is for uh, empire what uh, it's what the implications of uh, imperialism and on the other end uh, is for uh, what the response was what the reaction was the oppressed people is for what they uh, they all those local natives hated them uh, very much what he says in the very first paragraph in the first, uh, first line I was hated by large numbers of people and this what it, it was and what he says that uh, uh, what we uh, what I do find this what is for uh, anti-European uh, feeling was very bitter anti-European feeling is for was very bitter no one had the guts to raise a right but if a European woman went through the bazaars alone somebody would probably spit better juice or a dress and um, as for what uh, mm, what he says that I was specifically the target then what he said what uh, sneering yellow faces of young men and what uh, they were all insulting uh, this what the foreigners what they something the British people and uh, what this, what the situation was what they just uh, uh, every moment uh, what they just uh, uh, just sneering what they just uh, jeering all this what the British people and especially the young Buddhist what they just uh, were doing worst of all and uh, what they just uh, standing on street corners and what jeer at Europeans so what the reaction was uh, of local are this what the natives what the Burmans they hated British people uh, as far what uh, uh, very much and what they just uh, uh, always in search of this what uh, uh, of, of all those moments what they just uh, could do this what insulting or this what jeering or sneering on, 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 on those British people so this what is for what the relationship was uh, what the narrator, uh, narrator says and what the text is so uh, is for what uh, uh, this uh, 
or what the situation was now uh, uh, if forward uh, I'll come to uh, again this for it for uh, uh, incident of shooting an elephant so in the text work in the very beginning what the relationship between uh, this word the oppressor and oppressed what the relationship between native locals and this word the, the ruling class what the hatred was there and what the, uh, is for what um, this word the, and and terrorism how they treated uh, those locals and what the reaction of the local was now what comes the incident of shooting an elephant this was the, a time incident of uh, shooting an elephant but what uh, gives him better glimpse this what uh, what this what the glimpse of what this said for real nature of imperialism what uh, he gave us this, the real and this uh, this what the intense what uh, the nature of imperialism that what how the imperialism and this what uh, works and what the implication and effects of imperialism uh, was so what uh, is for uh, he was uh, uh, basically called to kill the must or made elephant and what uh, this what the elephant was basically tamed one it falls to some do a tati tati us kuji marna hai kyunki wo pagal ho gaya hai aur ab kisi ko control mein nahi hai to ye task usko mila so basically what the story was elephant this what is for the symbol of uh, british imperialism in this very essence this what the story is uh, basically the uh, the elephant is the symbol of imperialism but dying one what he says dying one what the text uh, is that uh, what he says i didn't even know that the british empire is dying this what the dying one so the elephant what uh, uh, the symbol of imperialism this what the symbol of power but the dying one is the writer himself says but uh, so then this what the must elephant a check to burmese population and what the people who had no weapon and what they were quite helpless so what the destroying uh, this for their properties and this finally what they are for uh, what she the, what the elephant just uh, killed uh, this what the indian coolie and uh, this what the situation was uh, as far as death was terrible one all these what symbolize how british empire like must elephant attacked all those uh, this what uh, the local people if for what i told you that the elephant is a symbol of 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 imperialism this what the symbol of power the symbol of what uh, of control or the symbol of something of this of, of government so when this what uh, the elephant is for the maid one the must one uh, the must one and then what uh, what the elephant uh, did what it destroyed uh, the properties what uh, killing the innocent just like what this uh, maid or must elephant what the the imperialism what the british empire was doing with the natives with the local people what the sort of occupying their lands their properties destroying their properties and what killing all those innocent what they treating them very badly just like what the what the elephant so uh, now what try come to uh, this what uh, that uh, uh, is for uh, uh what the weaker countries uh all those people and what the and the imperialism was doing exploiting and what plundering the region for economic for political and military purposes and this what uh, is for the british government what ruled the op- the oppressed the weak people just like the elephant just like the elephant when the elephant just uh, went made or must and what destroying the property and what killing the people and what just uh, uh, this what uh, uh, destroying all those things uh, then when the narrator was uh, uh, going to shoot the elephant so the huge crowd of local followed him and what they were not interested in the elephant uh, uh, when it was uh, destroying their homes it was fun to them so if or when the police officer this what the narrator when uh, he was assigned this task to kill or to shoot the elephant so a huge crowd just followed uh, uh, the police officer uh, all those people what the uh, those people is for they were not interested uh, in the elephant it was 
is forward the elephant but uh, was destroying their home then what uh, uh, all that was the destruction they just followed uh, for fun just what to uh, to make fun and uh, symbolically what it shows that the natives were just like mob not in position to resist the imperial power what it shows symbolically is for just the crowd the mob the confused ones no unity and what they were all just with uh, uh, sh sh uh, shattered people and they were not in position to resist the imperial power so uh, the narrator does not want to this for to shoot elephant but the, the intention of the narrator was not to shoot or to kill the elephant but is for the crowd of 2000 people this was the people followed him but pressed him to kill the elephant what it shows is for it shows that the white men all the leading actor is for what they were uh, what uh, they were helpless but uh, white men all this were uh, uh, helpless what they were there working or what they were serving under the british empire what they were is just like puppets what they are just like dummy and just just like actors and what they had to work what they had to serve is for and what he says just to um, just to prove himself this what is for uh, uh, what uh, to, to prove himself is for swipe what to impress the natives is all the people are excited and what expected for him to do the task बात ये कि यहाँ पर ये कहना चाहता है कि देखें ये कि जितने भी यहाँ पर ब्रिटिश एम्पायर में काम करने वाले लोग थे ऐसे में पुपेट थे एक लड़की थी यातीम तो बस काम करना होता था जहरी बात है और ब्रिटिश एम्पायर कोई जहरी बात नहीं उनका एक प्रेशर था उनका उनके अंडर कंट्रोल थे वो लोग तो अगर वो जो भी सही काम है गलत काम है उनको करने पड़ते थे यहाँ पर वो कहते हैं कि जस्ट टू प्रूव इन सेल्फ साहेब साहेब का लफ उसने यूज़ किया है जैसी मुराद ये है कि जनाब ऊपर को खुश करने के लिए ठीक है जनाब उन्होंने जो भी काम करना है उन्होंने ज़रूर करना है और ये भी था कि जो लोग थे वो क्या एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे उससे ठीक है वो क्या उसको प्रेस करने की कोशिश कर रहे कि तुम बस आगे चलो और एलिफेंट को शूट कर दो तो ये भी वो कहते हैं मुझे अपने आप को साबित करना था मैं अपने आप का मजाक नहीं बनाना चाहता था कि वट दे जस्ट लाफ एट मी एंड वट मेक फन ऑफ मी तो दिस वट प्रेसिंग वट प्रेसिंग वॉज प्रेसिंग वॉज वट ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द क्राउड ऑफ ऑल दो पीपल उनसे मजबूर होकर फिर वो आगे चला गया और जनाब उसने गोलियाँ मार दी एलिफेंट को सो एज फॉर वट यू डिड नाट वॉन्ट टू लाफ एट बाई नेटिव एज फॉर वट ही सेज एवरी वाइट मैन इन द ईस्ट स्ट्रगल्स नॉट टू बी लाफ्ट एट कि जितने भी वाइट मैन इन द ईस्ट है वो नहीं चाहते थे कि कोई उनका मजाक उड़ाए तो जो भी काम है गलत है जो भी उनने करना था तो ये देखें ये एम्प्योलिज्म के हवाले से अगर देखा जाए कि बस उन्होंने अपना अपने आप के जो है जहरी बात है अपनी सुपरियरिटी को बरकरार रखने के लिए अपने रूल को बरकरार रखने के लिए जो भी सी गलत है उनको काम करना था जैसे कि ये जो ऑफिसर है नरेटर ये भी यही है उसको कोई इंटेंशन नहीं कि इस किस्म का काम करूं लेकिन उसके जहन में क्या है कि जी ये लोग मेरा मजाक उड़ाएंगे इतने सारे लोग हैं क्या कहेंगे कि जी साहब तो काम नहीं कर सकता साहब डर गया है तो बस मैंने जो भी है करना है इस किस्म का ठीक है फिर दिस वट इज फॉर द टेरेबल टेरेबल सीन ऑफ शूटिंग द एलिफेंट इट वॉज शट डैट एंड वट एगोनी ऑफ इट ऑफ इट जोल्ट ऑफ इट्स होल बॉडी इज ग्रेट पेन इज माउथ वाइड and uh, if our uh, the elephant was dying slowly and powerless to die powerless to die it took long time to die uh jab usne shoot kar diya aur bahut sare goliyan maar di aur aista aista aati jo mar raha tha to jaise maine kaha thi ek symbolic hai british empire ka imperialism ka to wo kehta hai ki aakhir mein british empire ya imperialism bhi aista aista wo dam tod raha hai ठीक है ठीक है एक तो एक पीक पे था बहुत कुछ उसने एक्सप्लाइट किया इकोनॉमिकली पोलिटिकली बहुत सारे उन्होंने फायदे उठाए लेकिन अब वो इस तरह इस तरह क्या हो रहा है जहरी बात है वो डिक्लाइन की तरफ जा रहा है वो वो जो है वट दिजम इज ड्राइंग तो ये जस्ट लाइक एलिफेंट जो कि बहुत सारी गोलियों के बाद आहिस्ता आहिस्ता वो मर रहा था और बड़ा टेरेबल सीन था कैसे उसकी सांस निकलती जा रही थी ठीक है उसने वक्त लिया 
لیکن وہ آخر میں پھر دم توڑ گیا تو کہتے ہیں پھر ریزم بھی بالکل اسی طرح ہے کہ یہ بھی اب آہستہ آہستہ دم توڑ رہا ہے اور آہستہ آہستہ یہ اس کی موت ہوگی اور یہ ختم ہو جائے گا سو اس فار وٹ اٹ از وٹ اٹ بی دا فائنلی دا اینڈ آف امپیریلزم جسٹ لائک وٹ دا اینڈ آف دا ڈیتھ آف دا ایلیفینٹ سو ان دا اینڈ وٹ ہی سیز ڈیٹ وٹ ہی ایز ڈون رائٹ ڈیسیجن پھر آخر میں وہ کہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے میرا تو بالکل دل نہیں تھا کوئی انٹینشن نہیں تھا لیکن وہ آخر میں کہتے ہیں میں نے اچھا فیصلہ کیا میڈ ایلیفینٹ ٹو بی کلڈ لائک اے میڈ ڈاگ کہ جب یہ کتا پاگل ہو جائے نا تو پھر اس کو مارنے دینا چاہیے تو کہتا ہے یہ بھی آتی بھی بالکل اسی طرح کہ جب وہ پاگل ہو گیا تو اس کا خاتمہ ضروری تھا ٹھیک ہے تو یہاں سے وٹ اٹ شوز ڈیٹ وٹ دا امپیریلزم جسٹ وٹ وین دا امپیریلزم وینٹ میڈ کہ جب یہ امپیریلزم بھی ایک طرح پاگل ہو گیا اور اپنے ایکسلائٹیشن میں اور اپنے پاور میں بہت آگے چلا گیا ٹھیک ہے تو اب اس کو بھی موت آنی چاہیے تھی جیسے کہ ہاتھی جب پاگل ہوا کسی کنٹرول میں نہ رہا تو اس کو تو مار دینا چاہیے تھا تو امپیریلزم بھی ایسا ہی ہے اپنے پاور میں اور اپنے جو ہے کہتے ہیں طاقت کے نشے میں اس نے اتنا ایکسپائر کرنا شروع کر دیا اتنا آؤٹ آف کنٹرول ہو گیا اتنا مست پاگل ہو گیا کہ اب اس کی تو موت ہی اس کے لیے ضروری تھی تو یہ بات ہے تو یہ کہتا ہے کہ جناب بٹ اس کا بھی اینڈ ہونا چاہیے یہ سارا ایک تھیم تھا سینٹرل آئیڈیا تھا ٹیکس کے پڑھنے کے بعد آپ کو اچھی طرح سمجھ میں آئے گا کہ وہ کیا کہنا چاہتا ہے کیسے ایک ریلیٹ کرتا ہے اس انسیڈنٹ کو شوٹنگ آف ایلیفینٹ کو ایک تو امپیریلزم کے ساتھ اور کہاں کہاں پر وہ آپ کو ہنس دیتا ہے اس امپیریلزم کے امپلیکیشن کا ایفیکٹس کا اور اس کے جو نگیٹو آسپیکٹس ہیں اس کے حوالے سے تو ایک دفعہ ضرور آپ گو تھرو کریں اس ایسے کے دو تین پیجز کا ہے پھر اس پہ بہتر آپ اس لیکچر کو جو ہے صحیح سمجھ پائیں گے کہ جو میں کہنا چاہتا تھا وہ اصل میں وہ سارا کچھ اسی کے متعلق ہے تھینک یو ویری مچ